training device originally created for astronauts has now been approved by the FDA to help patients who are unable to run or walk. At UCSF's new high-tech physical therapy center in Mission Bay, Richard Hart ran into some runners going almost weightless in a bag of air. As the air inflates this bag, Steve Townsend is getting lighter and lighter. And this is 60 percent. He was unable to run for 15 years. I went skiing for the first time in five years, and I'm on uh, 70 percent less uh, pharmaceuticals than I was on a year ago. Steve was the first patient to use the Alter G at the UCSF Therapy Center at Mission Bay. The device encases your lower body in a balloon that reduces your weight. It began as a way to restore strength to astronauts returning from long periods in weightlessness. We got an FDA clearance to market the device for medical use. This is the first time that a patient is able to control their body weight precisely. The reason that I like the body weight with air as opposed to the harness is your upper limbs are free. You can use them. You feel comfortable. You feel like you can run. Dr. Nancy Bill is pioneering weightless training for those who find it difficult to walk, for example, after a stroke. In here, I feel like I'm walking in a pool. <laughs> or who find it impossible to go aerobic, such as Sarah Demergian recovering from brain surgery. As far as for my therapy, yeah, it's aerobic for me. I mean, it's a, it's a cardio workout. And brain training is a big component in Dr. Bill's new work. Not only are we tossing a ball back and forth, but he's reading puzzles to me, which I have to solve while I'm tossing this. It, it is a good bridge between a neuro and an orthopedic sort of assistive device. It feels like I'm running a marathon. <laughs> With the next step in workouts, Richard Hart, ABC7 News.